Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about the overall crypto market, where I think we could be headed here in the medium, short, and long term for the overall markets. Kind of just give my general idea of where I think we're headed here. But guys, we are at 8,380 subscribers. When we reach 10,000 subscribers, we are giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. So subscribe right now. Let's hop into this video. All right, so right now, guys, we are consolidating. We are basically where we were just yesterday. We're still above 30,000. Really like to see that. Ethereum above 2100. 21, very, very good spot in my mind. BNB coin up about 4%, which is pretty awesome for Crowcoin because whenever Binance really moves, usually Crowcoin moves with it. And speaking of Crowcoin, it is up about 2.4% today, which is very, very cool, guys. We have broken to the upside out of this triangle I had drawn. And if you would have followed my call yesterday and you would have opened up a long position or followed a breakout type of trade or strategy on this breakout here, if you would have opened up a long, then you would have been very, very in some nice profits over on BitGet. If you would like to do something like that for the future for some breakout trades, go down below, click the BitGet link. All you got to do is sign up. Deposit some money, open a trade, and get up to $8,000 when you sign up with BitGet. We also have a $4,500 sign-up bonus with Femex, as well as a $600 sign-up bonus with Binance. But guys, leverage trade at your own risk. It is a very, very good tool when you learn how to use it. However, you do need to learn how to use it in the first place. But we did have that breakout to the upside of Crowcoin, which is awesome to see. To be quite frank with you guys, I thought that uh, we would be breaking out in the next day or so. But uh, we did break out today which is very very awesome to see and i would like to see some continuation of the upside i do unfortunately will admit that if we do get bitcoin coming up a little bit i think we will see bitcoin move up leading into the 19th of april but if we do uh after the 19th of April, I, I do think that uh, we will kind of come down a little bit. I think it's time for a little bit of a retracement. However, when we look at Bitcoin, as long as we're getting these daily candle closes above these levels of 26600 300 to be exact, but this price level right here, the $26,300 price level, as long as we're getting daily candle closes above that, I mean, it's really just bullish continuation. We're moving to the top end of this channel uh, between the 26300 and 32000 So it is, all in all, bullish continuation in my eyes, but I do think that uh, we are in need for a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a pullback, and, and that being said, um, I do think that Crowcoin will probably come back down and find its way back to the 0 0.0689 cents back to that stable coin price level if you will but that being said that being said i think that uh, there is something we do need to talk about and that is the saying of sell in may and walk away because i've been looking at a lot of these different months of may in the cycles of bitcoin and it is very very intriguing because i do have to admit that um it's not as simple as sell in May and walk away. I mean, we've had back here, I mean, the off the bottom in 2017, or excuse me, of 2019, we had this great big move off the bottom. And this was a, a large move in May of about a 105% gain. So keep that in mind. But I will say all in all, uh, the the saying of sell in May and walk away is tends to be quite accurate when it comes to equities. So keep that in mind. If the S&P 500 decides to make itself a move to the downside, be prepared for Bitcoin to do the same. But I will say that I will expect something like that to happen if the Federal Reserve is lined up with that as well, saying they're going to raise rates or something very hawkish, some hawkish tones being thrown around. If I do see, if I do hear that, then I do expect the S&P to come down, and I do expect that Bitcoin to probably come down with it. However, however, we have decoupled a little bit, but now we are basically back on track now with this move to the upside in the S&P 500. I my, but you know, guys. It really doesn't matter what happens in the macroeconomics uh, when we're looking at the technicals. But um, usually they do find a way of lining up nicely. But um, that when, when you do have the technicals and fundamentals lining up, that's when you really have a, a strong signal of where you think that the market could be headed. But as of right now, 
we are getting bullish continuation. I mean, this is this is basically just consolidation. But over on Bitcoin, we are 100% are getting bullish continuation with these daily candle closes with higher highs. It's, it's very, very nice to see. But I do really think here that um, we might need a little bit of a consolidating move to the downside. I really do think that we might need that uh, leading into May. However, I could be significantly wrong. I could be significantly wrong, but um, not every single May is green and not every single May is red, but the probabilities are usually to the bearish side. They favor the bearish side when May comes around. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. We're going to have to keep a close eye on what's going on in the space. If you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also, please consider becoming a member on the channel. Go below this video. Click the join button. You get access to our custom emojis and our custom loyalty badges that you can use during our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on top of that, you get access to 10 additional entries each month. You are a member to winning our loaded line NFT that we're giving away at 25,000 subscribers. And on top of that, you get access to our private Discord. We have NFT Alpha, Trade Signals, NFT Whitelist Spot Giveaways, and a more of a one-on-one -on -one community with Crypto Kip and I. But guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.